Hello YouTube, how are you doing other things? Well, this is Baby Yoda as I have him so far. Um, here he is with his new Mandalorian um, insignia. Um, he's got his little ball that he likes to play with off Mandalorian ship. Um, it's not finished yet at all. Um, I just thought I'd put all these adornments on just to show you um, what it might look like. This is a uh, well, not on there permanently at all yet. Uh, I'm just showing you what is going to eventually happen, and this material is going to be around his cuffs as well. Um, he's not. I've added a bit of new material about down, you know, a bit of new, new bit of Daz clay down here to show you that there's a bit more detail to his clothing. Um, Um, his feet, his little foot's sticking out a little bit. I can pull his foot out like that and get him painted, and then I'm going to stick him back there with some glue eventually. Um, I've added a bit more dirt to the base, but um, yeah, I kind of, as you can see, I kind of painted him green, completely the wrong colour green, but I was doing it late at night one night. Um, to be honest, I kind of, um, you can see my Thanos is over there as well. Um, in the background, still two of them still with stuff to do to them, and I haven't really done a lot to anything anything over Christmas because I kind of um well I didn't lose um, interest in them. I just kind of lost interest in doing anything to them for a little while. Um, I just painted him trying to get my enthusiasm up again because um, when I've added loads of new stuff to his face I've got I've, I've gotten over a lot of the detail that I put in the soft clay so that kind of was a bit of a bit annoying I've been filling in lots of gaps and cracks and that but putting the paint, a coat of paint on made me able to sort of see where you can see a lot better than this, as opposed to sort of different coloured bits of plaster you can see a lot better where there's dirt and these bits need to be filled in I can rub these down quite easily and it'll I should get a nice smooth finish to my baby odor, but I'm not sure if I want it to be smooth. I want to try and get some skin detail into him again, but um, it's, it's, the ear is probably still a little bit too big, but only by a little bit. And as you see, I've been adding more bits of clay to him where I think that he hasn't hasn't got quite the right shape yet. Um, so yeah, he's still sort of a work in progress and um, his fingers I felt needed fatting up a little bit. So I've done that on both both his hands and then we sort of, um, this colour of his sleeves isn't quite right yet either, that's got to be a lighter lighter sort of around. But basically he's got all sort of moulded merged merge into the same sort of colour. Um, but yeah we've had the final episode of the Mandalorian now and I've done my little uh, piece about what I didn't like about the so-called side Skywalker saga, and call it the Palpatine saga from now on, because it was a Palpatine saga. But you know, as I said in that my videos about the, the Palpatine saga, um, Disney Star Wars can be good, very good, and Mandalorian is proof of that. You know, if you get the right directors on board and producer and writers, uh, you know the. the the likes of Cap that I think Kennedy has, hasn't really got much say in it. I don't think really what happens at the end of it because um, you know there's even been people saying that there's you know it's really very sexist and there's uh, not hardly any women in it and things. But, so I mean Kathleen Kennedy didn't have a say in that. She didn't have a say in the end of the Skywalker saga. I don't want to just spoil it for anyone, but um, you know uh, Ray didn't Ray wasn't the, the one you know, made by come from nowhere and just try and defeat her. She was actually made, created by a male as well. And, um, and so, you know, the Star Wars universe is the Star Wars universe. It's not going to be like the, 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 the Earth universe. It's, you know, it's completely different rules in there. But um, I think I think Mandalorian kept to those rules very, very, very closely and uh, with the Star Wars more and that. You know, have Baby Yoda putting a force field out to stop some fire, you can imagine that happening. And force healing as well, but uh, David Yoda sort of brought force healing into them. 
the Star Wars world, which was carried on to the over OTT extent. Like everything else was over the top in the sequels, everything was just too big and huge. But you know, Mandalorian felt grounded and down to earth, like the like the original trilogy did, and even to some extent the prequels. Um, but the whole the whole series was brilliant. Um, uh, really good, really good characters, really good acting, really good uh, use of CGI when needed, and uh, use of um, lots and lots of puppets and uh, and um, you know prosthetics and that, and uh, it was just really really well done. Um, the whole story. I mean, we're going to have, apparently this second the second season is going to be about the origins of Baby Yoda, which I'm not really sure we want to find out. We want to yeah, have a bit of mystery left in the Star Wars universe somewhere. Um, but yeah, this is my Baby Yoda. His, his eyes are obviously masked over to uh, stop any scratches from sandpaper and paint, uh, paint getting over over it. But yeah, this is this is gonna, what's going to be eventually making my finishing my Baby Yoda and. Uh, Hopefully I don't destroy him halfway through and keep on knocking his nails off. This one just needs a bit of work, but this one got knocked off recently. Um, just loads of cracks over his clothing. I've had to spend a lot of time filling in. I think that kind of filling a bit here as well. I think I feel like cracking a bit now. Um, I've been spending a lot of time just trying to sort of repair it really. Um, I've got some some white <coughs> some white fluff to make his hair from from this thing that I found. I think this is white fluff in here. Um, hopefully it's not pink but I'll be able to get some white hair out of that to stick on his head. The, the rubbing down of his this clay wouldn't have brought enough, enough hairs to give Yoda, his full head of hair that he has, the baby Yoda. Um, yeah, so hopefully he's going to come a Mandalorian, first, the first ever of their creed. Because um, you get to find a lot about the, the sort of the, a lot of still a lot, a lot more of the, um, the, the background of Mandalorians, and even though he found out a lot in the um, the Rebels series, no, yeah, the Rebels series, uh, um, find out a lot more. Anyone can be a Mandalorian. It's a creed, not a race. So yeah, hopefully um, the Mandalorian carries on being as good as it is next year, or well, this year now. Um, they've already filmed half of it already apparently. But yeah, I just loved it all. Um, just go through my episodes to think um, see what my favourite episode was. Um, I think probably the first the first episode when we find Baby Yoda for the first time. Um, the scene was really good with loads of Mandalorians in it. Um, I quite like the Gunslinger, um, Redemption, last episode, yeah I quite like that two-parter really, finding out that TIE Fighters can fold their wings, and my favourite part of that man, well, maybe not my favourite part, but one of the really good bits in it was bringing back a lifelong toy from the past, um, the Imperial Troop Transporter that suddenly popped up and with him. Of troops coming out. Well, that was an old toy, a Palatoid toy. I think I had one of them um, for a little while. Yeah, I think I owned a troop transporter. Or well, one of my neighbours did. Anyway, um, yeah, it was really cool that, that turning up in the um, in the reckoning, the penultimate episode. Um, and Carl Dune and lots of lots of uh, you know, Rosie. Um, yeah, yeah, anyway, that's going to be a short video. I'm going to be doing some, doing some stuff with it in the next video. Stuff with Baby Yoda, finishing him off, painting him up, getting some of the colours correct, and then sticking this on. I wouldn't have been able to do this without, without doing it with uh, material, really, I don't think. Oops. And, um, I don't know what to do with this, but some more detail in it somehow, but it's not quite. Like the one that he has, but I think I'll just stick with that probably. Oh, it's a fly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
inhale one of these flies one day. Got a bit of a dilemma with these catching the flies. I've sort of got spiders around the place and they're sort of getting rid of food from them, their mouths. They can't get out at the moment. It's flat and it's cold weather that I have at the moment with all my windows and the vents closed and that. So I'm just sort of killing off the spiders maybe, but I do try and catch them and put them outside of whenever I can. Hopefully they're outdoor spiders and I'm not killing the spiders as well. But anyway, these flies want to go out. They're begging to go out all the time. I see them in the windows. That's just basically them trying to get out into the big wide world. But anyway, sort of mumbling from now on, for now. And um, like I say, hopefully I'll get back into trying to finish him off. Um, yeah, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. I'm going to finish with a few close up shots of the baby Yoda. Get my camera off without just turning the video off. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> so, there's his head. It actually looks like there's a lot more detail on the, the f a film than there is. Himself. Yeah, but then he's got some he's got spindly fingers in some shots and it's not big fat fingers in other shots, so sort of done a happy medium really. And there's the Thanos's the Thanosy. And there's my cat Rosie. Yeah, so baby Yoda. Whites from his teeth in there somewhere as well. There's not like a cute babyness yet, I don't think. Kind of getting there. Anyway, so signing off. Take care. Goodbye.